everyone, welcome back to The Good Bite. I hope you guys are having a good week. I hope it's been filled with good food and of course, some good feels. So today we are continuing on with the How to Meal Prep Like a Boss series. Usually when we do these videos, we give you like two or three options to try out and they're usually really simple, really easy and quick to make. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit more in depth and we're just gonna be doing one recipe and that is gonna be a delicious cheesy chicken tomato and basil bake. That is a little bit of a mouthful. Basically we're gonna pan fry some chicken thighs till they're lovely and crispy. We're gonna be making a delicious tomato and basil sauce. We're gonna chuck it all together in one pot which actually saves you guys washing up and makes everything a little bit more fuss free. A Little bit of cheese on top and then we're good to go. That's about it. Let's get into it. So first up, get your veg ready. So we're gonna finely chop a white onion. And then we want to de-seed and finely chop our red chili. And then we have about three or four cloves of garlic, which we're just gonna crush in a garlic crusher. And then we're ready to go over to our pan. Medium heat, extra virgin olive oil, about a tablespoon in there. Now I have about five to six skinless boneless chicken thighs, which I'm gonna put skin down, although there's no skin on them, so that sounds a bit silly, but I'm still gonna, just gonna put them down that way. And now they need to be seasoned, which you could just do with salt and pepper, but you may have seen me using this before, and this is not an ad or anything, but it's so good. It makes everything taste so good. It elevates everything, elevates. Um, so I would definitely invest in this if you're if you're into your cooking. One slight drawback with using cast iron like this is it does tend to stick a little bit easier. So just make sure it's not sticking too much. If it does stick, it's not the end of the world really. What's actually going to happen is it's going to stick to the pan and it's going to actually have more flavour stuck to the pan, which will be soaked up into the sauce later on. And so we want a sort of nice golden brown where it's starting to crisp up on the outside just like that then we're just going to flip them over and cook for about four or five minutes more and then we're just going to set these aside now look at all this this is one benefit of having a one pot recipe now everything else that we make in this pan is gonna be soaking up the delicious flavor from those chicken thighs and the seasoning and the olive oil. So we're gonna get cracking on with our tomato sauce. So first in is going to be our finely chopped white onion. Maybe turn the heat down a tiny bit if it's on quite a high heat still. And then we're just gonna fry our onions for about five minutes until they start to soften. Those have been frying for about five minutes. You can see they're nice and soft and translucent. Now we're gonna go in with our garlic and our chili. Don't worry, the chili's not gonna make it spicy because we've removed the seeds. However, if you do want a bit of spice, leave the seeds in. Smells wonderful and garlicky. Um, now we're gonna go in with our passata. You could use chopped tomatoes. Passata is just basically blended tomatoes, as far as I'm aware, possibly with some seasoning and herbs added. Um, I've used passata just because it's gonna give us like a, a smooth sauce, not with the bits of the chopped tomatoes in. Okay, so you're gonna bring that to a simmer, and now it's time to take this dish to Flavor Town, baby. <laughs> so we're gonna add a tablespoon of oregano in, roughly, maybe a little bit more. <laughs> a tiny bit more seasoning, now the recipe calls for red wine vinegar, which I couldn't find from my local shop. Thank you very much again, co-op, for not having red wine vinegar. So I'm just using some malt vinegar. Any kind of vinegar will do. You just want to have a little bit of a tang, a little bit of sharpness to it. And then we're gonna add about three quarters of a bunch of fresh basil to the pan. And this is what makes it taste absolutely insane. Tomato and basil is a combination made in heaven. Okay, so stir that in. As the tomatoes cook down, it's gonna become a little bit thicker, of course. So we're gonna leave that on a very low simmer 
and we're also going to preheat our oven. So that's been cooking for a few minutes now. It's smelling outrageous to be honest. Garlicky, tomatoey, basilly, if that's a word. Now we're going to add a mug of chicken stock. Give that a really good stir and then we're going to bring that to a simmer again and let it reduce down a little bit. So this has been simmering down for a little bit. You don't need it to be too thick because it will thicken up a little bit more once we bake it in the oven. So, as I said, check that your chicken thighs can go in and they're not completely submerged. That is absolutely perfect. And now it's time to have a bit of fun and we're gonna put a shitload of cheese on top. Now, if all this cheese is a little bit too indulgent for meal prep for you, feel free to leave it off basically, but I like making some nice tasty food. So I'm just gonna load it with some mozzarella. Try and aim to get it on top of the chicken as much as you can. Of course, like you can use a light cheddar. I've got light cheddar here and you can also get light mozzarella from some supermarkets. And then the final little bit, bit of seasoning on top of the cheese. That's kind of for appearance as much as it is for taste. And then, look at that. That is absolutely amazing. You can see the cheese is already starting to melt into the sauce and that is absolutely fine by me. So we're gonna bake this in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. Hopefully by the time it comes up, this cheese is all gonna be melted. It's gonna be lovely golden, almost like a golden crust of cheese on top of the chicken with that delicious, rich tomato and basil sauce is gonna be immense. I'm excited, let's do it. Look at that. Oh my God. Good luck, fella. See you on the other side. Right, so we need some carbs added to our meal prep and that could come in the form of rice, it could come in the form of some potatoes or pasta even. But today, I'm gonna go with some couscous, which is straight out of a packet. I've used two packets, mix it with boiling water. And this is a Moroccan couscous packet, which I think is gonna go really well with our tomato and basil bake. Oh, that's looking good, guys. That's looking good. Oh my days. Have a look at that, that looks absolutely amazing. You see the cheese has gone bubbly, golden, crispy on top, like I said I was aiming for. I know that this sauce tastes unreal. I need to have a little taste. Quite hot once it comes out of the oven. Also, careful, don't grab this with your bare hands. Oh mate, it's so comforting. Also, what's the biggest thing you want to avoid when you're making meal prep? People say, oh meal prep is gonna be boring, dry, chicken, tasteless. That is the opposite of everything I just said in that sentence. The sauce, it's not gonna be dry, the taste is unreal, the chicken is gonna be wonderful and succulent, also with the cheese on top, added bonus. It just, it's just the best meal prep. As I said, Maybe slightly too indulgent for some people, but just miss the cheese off and then it's basically chicken and a pretty healthy tomato sauce to go with it. I'm excited. Let's serve it up. Here it is. So, I've served up two portions. Depending on how much chicken you want, you've got either four or five portions for yourself there. The amount of couscous, rice, or whatever carbs you're having, I'm gonna leave that up to you because that's gonna be dependent on what your current sort of goals are, how many calories you are, maybe you don't care and you just do it all by eye. Um, but I'm so happy with this. I've had this a few times before, so I was very confident before we started the video. But I'm gonna make a bold statement and say, if you try this, it's gonna be the tastiest meal prep you've ever tasted. 
that's my bold statement. So let me know how you get on guys. If you do make this, be sure to send in pictures to us at the Goodbye Instagram page and we always repost any pictures that we see and we love to see your cooking. So please do send those to us, get involved. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I did ask you guys to subscribe after last video and it seemed to help. So thank you for anyone who clicked that subscribe button. Please like the video, leave a comment. Let me know if you're gonna try this at home and until next week, I'm gonna say goodbye. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next week.